Teresa Love here. Thank you so much for clicking. It means so much. If you would like to like this video, we have a really fun time here and it really helps out my channel. And if you'd like to subscribe, you could join the family. Today I wanted to do the mid-year freak out book tag. I am a little late. It is August and I'm not sure when I will be posting this, but I thought I would share with you about some books that I've read this year and things but I thought I would do this tag and it would be fun. Number one, the best book you've read so far in 2021. So the best book I have read so far would be What Lies Above by Caitlin Lambert. This is one of my friends from Bookstagram and it's a dystopian sci-fi novel it actually has a disability character in it. She's like a side character, but I was actually a sensitivity reader. Um, I was a sensitivity arc reader for her because she needed someone who has a disability to, a few people had disabilities, to make sure nothing in the book was damaging to the disability community. But the book was so good. I still like have dreams of this book. Like it was just so good. It was so immersive. Um, I just felt like I was in this dystopian sci-fi world and saw those two characters, Eva and Eli, pretty much they are like in an underground world. Eva's world is buried in secrets. No one talks about the surface, the mysterious world above. But after Eva follows a dead man into a crypt, she finds more than a body. She finds the truth. The surface isn't a place of blue skies and starlit nights like she always imagined. It's a place of destruction and death. In her city, she is safe, but as more lies entangle her, as the people she loves begin slipping away, she discovers that life inside her city might be more dangerous than she thought of what lies above it. Like, doesn't that sound amazing? Like, it was so good, it was so good. I don't want to give anything away. Eli's world is stained in blood, traitors of a 40-year-old long war sent to the distant frozen planet to die. Eli's mother was one of the condemned. To avenge her death, he enlists in the regime that killed her, vowing to destroy them from the inside. And then the two worlds collide. Oh, so good, so good. So yeah, best book, best book. Mm -hmm. Number two is what sequel is the best sequel you've read so far? That would be Shattered State, book two in the debris, legend, in the le that would be Shattered State by Laura Blaze Hughes, and we have the book two in the Legacy of Debris series. And this is also a friend I have on Bookstagram, and I read an ARC version of it. Um, amazing, like dark, twisted, Snow White, Cinderella tale. Oh, no, no, no. Dark, twisted, Snow White tale, but it's also dystopian and there's cute romance, and I still just remember we learned so much about Kest Kest Kestrel. We learned so much about Kestrel, who is one of the like side characters in the first book, and then in the second book we get so much more about her, and I can really relate to her as a character. She like breaks out into song randomly, which is what I would do, or when she was in a situation, she sang because it was stressful. <laughs> But yeah, so it's really good. It's um, first book is Republic of Rune, so you should totally check it out. It on, it's on Amazon. What Lies Above is also on Amazon. But this book is amazing. We tackle um, depression and a bunch of really important issues. There's like an identity crisis. It, I mean, it's there's this twist on the Snow White story that you would never guess, like, oh, I was having so much fun fangirling to the author and telling her how much I love it. I actually still need to read book three, which I will soon. I just haven't really been reading a ton. Number three is, what is a new release I haven't read but want to? Um, I want to read Dancing, Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. She's one of my favorite authors. She wrote Everything Everything, which is one of my absolute favorite books really paints disability in a, um, it really explains to you how it feels to be trapped in your house and the disability side of it. 
which I love that book, but I wanted to read this one. She wrote with her husband, Instructions for Dancing. So maybe I'll find it sometime at the bookstore and I will read it. Or maybe I'll listen to it on audio. Depends. Next we have Most Anticipated for Second Half of the Year. So I actually, I don't really buy new releases or look forward to new releases. I just read a lot of backlisted books and I'm happy with that. So none for now. Number five, biggest disappointment. It's gonna be loud. <laughs> Nightlight by Harvard Lampoon. This is a parody. Um, I'm only keeping it so I can say it's the worst book I've ever written, wrote. I, I'm only keeping it so I can say it's the worst book that I've ever written. Oh my gosh. I'm only keeping it so I can say it's the worst book that I've ever read. Um, it's supposed to be funny. It's instead of Bella, uh, Bella Swan, it's Bella Goose. And like, honestly, it was just like a Mad Lib. Like, you know those Mad Libs where you just fill in all these different adjectives and words and that was pretty much what they did to the Twilight book? It's like the exact story but Mad Libbed. Like her dad was a window washer instead of a cop. Yeah, it was weird. I would not recommend it. Okay, number six, biggest surprise. I was told over and over and over and over again to read Crave. Crave, if you like Twilight, you will like Crave. And it's true. <laughs> it's amazing. It gives you the nostalgic feelings that you wanted when you read Twilight. And it also makes you wondering and like, trying to figure out what type of supernatural they are or if they are. Um, this is Crave by Tracy Wolf. This is book one in the series. And I got this at Target because I needed it and then I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. And I got the next one at Target. But I don't want to live forever. Grace and her parents die in a car accident and she gets sent to a school that her uncle actually runs. But a lot of weird stuff starts happening and she kind of thinks it might not be a normal school and she meets Jackson who is like this bad boy but kind of protective guy and yeah it's very fun. It's good though. Go read it if you like Twilight. Favorite new to me author. That would be Anna Todd. This is book three. This is one of the books in the After series by Anna Todd. Um, her writing is just pulls you in and it's kind of sexy and it's new adult and it's so good. I want to read all of her books now, which I don't think she has too many, but Number eight, newest fictional crush. That's hilarious. I'm picking the book Crush by Tracy Wolf. Um, this is book two in the Crave series. And I'm kind of choosing between Jackson and Hunter because there's two and one of them is more British, which I adore. And then the other one is just more like Edward-like kind of. And yeah, so I'm choosing both of those guys. Who will I choose? Number nine, newest favorite character. I'm gonna go with Sophie Mercer. This is from Hex Hall by Rachel Hodkins. Um, this is just so fun. This book is just really fun. She is a witch and something goes terribly wrong and she gets sent to like a, kind of like a summer camp for supernaturals, but it's like a school. And it's just, um, she handles every, I think she handles everything really well and like she really tries to do the right thing but a lot of crazy stuff keeps happening and I like her a lot. Yeah. Number 10, a book that made you cry. I don't really cry at books. I cry at Hallmark movies sometimes and I cry at Disney movies, especially Nemo. 
yeah, I don't really cry with books. Someone could give me a sad book and I'd be like, mm, that wasn't sad. <laughs> Oops. Um, a book that made me happy was One Foot in the Grave. It's actually book two in the Night Huntress series. I'm reading it as a group vampire read with Phantom Fable, who's actually on YouTube, I will leave her down below, and a few other people. Um, it's been really fun. It's like a sexy vampire paranormal romance adventure book, and she's half vampire, half human, and she uses her human and woman abilities to like seduce these men and then kill the vampires. So it's really fun. It's funny, and I was like laughing and. It really just made me smile, which is nice. I try to read books that make me smile because we don't need crying and sadness right now. Number 13, favorite video. Favorite video I've done so far. Oh, it was probably the Twilight. So I've been doing the read with me, Twilight Illustrated Guide um, and episode one or whatever, but I've been having a lot of fun doing that, just sitting down and reading and kind of putting in my laughs or my little thoughts throughout it. And it's been really fun to film, um, so I think that's probably my favorite. Most beautiful book I've bought this year. I actually just bought it, Furthermore, by Tahara Mafi, who's the author of Shatter Me. And I just thought this cover was so pretty. Even the back is pretty. Like, it's really colorful and fun. Yeah! Well, that was all for the mid-year freak out book tag. Um, I don't know if it said it, but I might as well tell you. I've read 34 out of 53 books so far. My goal is 53. Last year I did 94, but I was reading like crazy. I'm feeling a little bit better, so I'm actually doing a lot more, so I'm not reading as much. So 34 is pretty good, although I do want to surpass 53. That would be nice but it depends because we only have a few months left of the year, which is insane. Wow. So yeah, that was all the questions and I had a really fun time doing this. And remember, you can find magic wherever you look, sit back and relax, all you need is a book. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.